Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Procreate 5.2. Procreate 5.2 is now here and it comes with a couple of cool things. Procreate 5.2 has actually been in beta for a while and one of the most lovable things with this new release is the fact that it now supports 3D model painting. Now this was teased some time ago, it's been in beta and it's finally here. So if you do own an iPad Pro that is compatible with this, you can go over to the App Store and download it and start working with it. Procreate by default is a tool for artists to create amazing designs but with the capability of the 3D model painting, it now even gives it way more usefulness especially for those who like to texture their 3D models on the go. And of course if you like to read more about this and see all of the capabilities that this actually stands to offer, you can go over to the link in the description and check it out. And it's worth knowing that this video is neither paid nor sponsored. It's just me telling you guys what and what you need to know, especially if you like to get your hands into this. So, how do you get started with the 3D model painting because this is the one that excites me the most. So for you to get started, you need to click on the import button to import it. And that way you can import stuff like this. So in case you, you know, you're thinking about it, you can choose to import stuff like this. One thing which I've also found out is if you choose to import things with smooth shading on, you might potentially have some issues. Now the issues that I found out was uh, I imported this one with the smooth shading and this is what I got. And without the smooth shading, this is what you get. You get the model itself looking pretty and you can actually play with it. Now how do you work with these things and how do you navigate across? And this is also something that is quite simple to play with. So first off, you can use your two hands, okay? To expand and you know zoom in and zoom out and you can use a single finger to rotate across and you can pinch in pinch out if this is what you want and you can use two fingers to pan left and right so depending on how you like to preview your model or you know look at it when you're texturing this is right here and of course you can start taking advantage of this now if this is the first time you're using procreate it's worth knowing that the ui looks pretty easy so right here, you can see that you have a couple of tools. You have a couple of tools from here and some from this part. So this is your colors and you can play with the colors from here. Your layers exist right here. You have your eraser, your paint and your paint. And of course, you have a couple more tools like here for projection. You have this for selection, your adjustment leave here. And of course, you have your action tools right over there. So how do you texture? How you can texture with this? has to do with the model you're working with. Now, before we go into texturing, it's worth knowing that this doesn't by any means support anything that isn't OBJ, okay? So I did try to import several versions of this, the GLB, I tried importing the FBX, STL, only OBJ came true. So OBJ files are the only files that you can use right now. And I think you can also export USDZ, but I can't actually get USDZ to open. Probably it's a problem for me. I have no idea, but that is what it is at this point. Moving on, you also need to import a model that has good UVs. Without a good UV or without UV at all, you're probably not going to get this model to come in. And these are certain things that you need to keep in mind. So if you choose to import the model and let's say you have your model in, you can go in and start making changes. Now, if you take a look at the layer section, you will notice that all the layers that we have here, they are all 3D layers, okay? So depending on the number of pieces you have going on within the model, you can see all of these things as layers and this makes sense. So how do you select this? If you use your fingers and tap, you can make a selection, tap to make a selection, tap to make a selection. And this is how you select stuff. If you're working with just one single model that doesn't have multiple parts, you can just just tap this and it's just one model and of course that would reflect within the layers as well and while we look at the things that can reflect within the layers if you go over to the layers you'll notice that because this is a 3d object we have this 3d icon here if you click on that you can see the three different channels that we can work with and these channels are responsible for your roughness your metallic and also your colors and these are the only channels that you can paint on now if you like to paint on any of these things you can click on the plus sign to add a painting and you can choose to add a painting in either of these ways by either going over to your painting tool and then you can click again to get the brush setting select the kind of paint brush you like in this case we can select the simple rounded paint brush and you can increase the size of the brush from here or you can play with the opacity from here as well 
If you also like to color pick your stuff, you can click on this button and use this as a color picker to pick your colors from your UI. Now with that said, if we go back and select the color like that, let's just get that color in. We can increase the brush size and we can stroke this to get that color going on. So if this is what you're looking for, of course you have it. Now you have a whole lot of, you know, your long list. You have a long list of brushes that you can pick from and you can also customize these brushes just by double tapping and you can customize the brushes however you want. And in this case, if we're okay with this brush and we'd like to go with it, we can just simply move this to the part where we want and we can go wild with this. So we can just go ahead and make some paintings and make some paintings and uh, this is one of them all right so this is one way that you can paint now if you would like to get like a uniform painting that is also something that you can do so i'm just going to go in and swipe this to the left and click on delete to get rid of that press on the plus button and then if i would like to get this painting across to this part we can also choose to do this in two ways which one of them is by using your finger click drag and drop it directly to get it filled up all right so you can see it's now filled or the next way which you can do this and i think this is like the fastest the next way which you can do is go over to your selection use the automatic selection click and you can see it says color fill or you can turn this off if you don't want if you want to have it color fill and there you have it and once you have this going you can now notice that if we go over to our layer all the things are there now what we've just done is to add color to our object now we've just used the very same approach that was used here but what we didn't put into consideration is the roughness and metallicness so what if you would like to paint roughness and you don't want to paint color how you can do that is also simple so i can press on the plus button to add another layer click on this select roughness because that is what i would like to paint and right now you see it turns to white and i can go in and i can paint this in and you can see we're painting in that roughness you know and you can see this one here so i can just go in and paint this all the way in and if i would like to switch this i can switch this all the way to black and i can paint in some more stuff so i can also go in there and paint in this all right so you can start seeing that we're painting this roughness and the roughness underneath is what we are having so i can just go in and paint this on and you can start seeing so right now you can see we have this sort of feeling on this part and we have these are the one right around here so depending on what you want so if we go in and push this all the way back and let's go right over to where we have this shiny part and paint you can see we're painting that matte feeling back in and if we would like to get you know that shiny thing we can go all the way in and repaint that and get this going so depending on what you like to get you can also choose to do this and by the way if you go in let's just go back and let's turn this off swipe this out delete that put a plus sign and click down here if we like to do just the entire roughness click drag and drop and in one click you have this bad boy going so this now starts making sense afterwards if you're also thinking about using things like stamps and all that yeah you can choose to get some decals online and you can use those decals and how you can work with these decals or how you can work with certain things considered as textures is you can choose to import these things. So how you can import this is very simple. If you click on this button, you can go over to where you have import file or insert a photo. And in this case, we're just going to use the insert file and we can search for where the file is. So at this point, we have three different files and I can simply select the rock monster and get that rock monster right here. So this file that I'm trying to attach here, it's right here, but of course you can't see it. And the reason is because we are attaching this on the roughness and that is, a, that is something you shouldn't do. So what we can do is to make sure that we have this close, click on the plus sign one more time, go all the way here and click on the insert file, get that rock monster and it's gonna import the rock monster in. And because like we mentioned earlier, this is your projection, we can use our fingers to stretch this all the way up and you can see that it looks nice doesn't it and you can also choose to use an advanced means of uh, controlling this which has to do with you scaling this within the x and the y axis so i can scale this i can also choose to rotate it and i can use this to warp or place it however i want so in this case i'm just going to go in and do something like that 
position this one right there and let's just go in with the automatic and with this one as well we can just simply use our fingers and get some pretty decent results with it so with this here once you're done you can just click and that stays and if you go over to your layer section you notice that this is applied within the color because this is a color texture that we are working with now once you're done adding this stuff you might also want to go in and paint in some more stuff and in this case we can just click on the plus sign get something else and i'm also going to go down and position this one here and let's say this now stays around this part maybe we'll like to get some some stuff going on from there let's go in and get some white or maybe just get some nicer looking color so then this should be the color go over to where we have our brushes let's look for some cool brushes maybe some spray brush might not be bad get that and we can start spraying all the way so i'll just make sure i have this here and we can spray this right on time let's go back and make sure that we're looking at it properly this should be on top so move this all the way up and you can see that all right so i can start spraying this and we can spray as much as we want so let's just spray 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 and uh, the limits to what you can do now is you know how much you want to push this i haven't tried this with heavy models you know it's just basically light models that i've been working with i haven't tried this with heavy models so this is just uh, one of those things to keep in mind so you can have this here and once you're done with this you can now choose to export it now with this here it's also worth knowing that you also have access to working with the adjustment layers so if you go over to this point you notice like we have adjustment layers we can choose to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer to this particular layer and we can tweak this to get some very interesting results so we can you know push this up and see what it looks like and then we can push this down see what it looks like and uh, we can you know just blend in between these two just to get some pretty decent result and it you know it, like i said earlier it's totally up to you and what you would like to create and once you're done you can simply click and apply and once you apply that this simply applies and you can click to get rid of that and you have this going so depending on what you like to do as well so if we go over to this other one we can click on this and choose to draw in a gaussian blur and you can increase how much blur that you want to get so in this case we can have some blur like that not looking bad all right so we can have some blow like this we can also go in and throw in some bloom depending on what we want as well and we can add some bloom let's see all right so let's add some bloom right around here that's a bit too much and then you have it all right so with this ready you now have your model and in case you like to export this you can now choose to export them. so something else which i really wish that we can have is if you click on this button, I really wish we can have something that deals with, you know, um, importing multiple models. What we have here is cut and that doesn't really cut anything. You know, it just cuts only what you have from here so that you can paste it somewhere else. But we don't really have like you can take up this model and put it in somewhere else. We don't really have that. We only have this. And if you choose to insert a file, you would notice that all those files I have, you cannot insert any of them. We only have like, uh, you know, the textures which you can choose to insert and that is more like it. So once you're ready with this, you can choose to preview this in AR and that would be cool. And uh, you can also choose to make some changes to the lighting. So for the lighting, if you go in and click on edit, you can edit the lighting to suit what you want. So like right here, I can choose to increase the intensity of the backlight or I can play with the environment and change the environment that we have. Let's just zoom right in and change the environment that we have to suit what we are trying to create. So with this, you now have some sort of endless possibilities of things that you can make by simply using Procreate. Of course, it's not like endless, endless possibilities. There are still things that Procreate cannot really handle. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about that. I do wish for some things to come. Of course, this makes a lot of sense to see that you have so much power like this directly on your mobile device. I still think that maybe we can have something that would accommodate for other file types to come in. Something else which I would love to see is, like I mentioned earlier, you being able to import stuff. I would also love to see some more channels come in, so just in case you like to play with some more channels. But overall, this is an amazing tool and uh, I will strongly suggest that you go in and play with it. Meanwhile, if you like to play with the AR, 
you can also go ahead and play with the AR and you can you know move this around preview it however you choose and get some very cool result you can choose to export this file as either a procreate file usdz or an obj file and for those thinking about exporting this for animation you can click on animated mp4 and uh, you can see what this looks like you can play with the animation duration how much zoom length you get and you can play with the ease set this from 720 all the way to 4k and of course if you like to you know put this on social media you can also do that and of course if you do own an ipad i would strongly suggest that you check out the procreate tool and see if this is something that you can work with so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.